Hey, what's going on guys? Good to be back. I spent a couple weeks in California, which was really nice. I could code and look at a beach, so it was super relaxing, but back now to regular busy city life, so it's good to be back. So last video we did, I think the topic was a little technical, computer logic. Um, so this video is actually gonna be a little non-technical. I wanted to talk a little bit about software engineering job search and kind of the stuff that goes into that. I made a video a while ago about the interview process, so check that out really quickly if you haven't, but this video is gonna be kind of a supplementary video to that one. So for this video, I thought of three different tips for your job search and hopefully they're helpful and without further ado, let's just start. So I mentioned in the other video that still the best way to get an introduction or get it in with a potential job is through a friend, a coworker, or someone you know, right? Those referrals or those soft introductions or warm introductions are usually significantly better than doing something completely cold. So I just wanna put that out there first that the best way to get a job is still through someone that you mutually know, all right? So you know someone that knows someone that knows someone that knows Mark Zuckerberg. Even though that's the best way of going about it, you still don't have that luxury all the time and everyone's still gonna have to go through this process of cold searching for a job where you don't really have a network to utilize, right? You have to just send out emails, send out resumes, just cold searching on the internet and this can be a little painful. So the first major point of this video is that when you're doing a cold search, you have to take really, really, really special care in how you present yourself. So say you're just emailing and applying to places online, there's someone else receiving all those applications and they're making a yes or no decision in like five or 10 seconds. So you have like a five or 10 second window to make a complete first impression digitally, which is kind of crazy, but what does it take for you to get into the yes pile and how do you present yourself to make that happen? So this video, again, three tips on how to best present yourself in the shortest amount of time possible. All right, point number one is always include a cover letter. If you're serious about a position at all, you will include some form of cover letter or introduction about yourself. If you don't include a cover letter, the very first reaction from the recruiter, and I promise you this is the reaction, the very first reaction from the recruiter is gonna be, shit, this person is too lazy to write up anything. So you don't wanna be that person. It's easy to go on a bunch of job portals and just blast your resume out. There's like 10 different job postings. You just send your resume to 10 different ones and hope for the best. That's easy, right? What's actually harder is picking like four out of those 10 positions and actually writing a real significant cover letter for each one along with their resume. That's hard and that's what less people do, but that's what you need to do. Remember, it's still always quality over quantity. You don't wanna blast your resume to 10 different software positions. You wanna just pick four that you like. Write the cover letters, think about it, reread those positions carefully, and send out those four applications, which have much higher quality than if you just blast it out. Writing the cover letter is also a little tricky, but uh, my best tip for this is probably just to keep it short and sweet and talk about the position the most. This is kind of like online dating, right? When you send somebody a message in online dating, it's very bad to just talk about yourself all the time, right? They don't wanna hear about you. They can always look up information about you. They wanna hear about why you're a fit for that position or why you're a fit for the girl or something, right? So I see a lot of uh, cover letters where it's always like, me, 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 this is all about me. And actually that's the last thing recruiters want to listen to what they really want to hear is about their position and why you're a fit for that position. So that's what your cover letter should focus on. So what goes into it? Just a short intro, why you're a fit for a position, and that's it. Don't include a laundry list of your skills. They can always look up those skills on your LinkedIn profile, right? There's no reason for you to include those. Just keep the cover letter short and sweet. Prove that you've read the position and I promise you, you're gonna stand out in like the top 1% of all applicants, all right? That's point number one about cover letters. Point number two is choosing your words very carefully. Making a first impression is always like a really difficult thing. 
in real life and it's kind of even more difficult in the internet or on the digital world. Like how do you make a first impression on the digital world? But your impression on the internet is pretty much all the words that you type on the keyboard, right? The words that you put in the profile, the words that you put in your cover letter, the words that you describe your job with on your resume, all those words are actually making a first impression on other people. Recruiters checking your resume and your applications usually ignore people that seem a little too self-centered. And this impression of being self-centered actually comes directly from how you describe yourself. And let me just give, give you a few examples. I completely refactored the back end of our CRM system. Within three months of my last job, I overhauled our whole front end with this new JavaScript framework. I'm a quick learner and I can pick up anything really fast. Did you guys kind of pick up on the tone of some of that wording? It's very kind of self-centered. It's right, I, 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 me, me, me. So actually you might think it's natural to just sell yourself and talk about yourself a lot, but actually it's a little counterintuitive. You don't want to give off that impression. It's better, in my opinion, I think it's significantly better if you give off the impression that you're actually a more a collaborative team player type of person. And let's just go through a few examples of that. At my last job, my team and I were able to introduce a brand new ORM into our backend. During my last internship, I spent a couple of weeks building this internal wiki to spread knowledge across our company a little more efficiently. So do you guys see how the tone of those phrases is a little different than the tone of the more self-centered phrases? You want kind of the first impression you give off with your words to be like, I'm a team player, I'm very collaborative. That's like the first impression you wanna give. When you guys hear phrases like company culture, what that really means is that people with similar mindsets and are on similar wavelengths, they usually attract one another. To be honest, you're less likely to hire. You're actually less likely to hang out with people that are radically different from you are, right? You'll probably only hire someone who's like super different if they fill a really, really niche position. But most likely, you're gonna hire people that you're driving with or you guys have a similar point of view on things. So if you come off as self-centered, you'll probably attract other self-centered people or you'll probably attract no people. However, if you come off as humble and a team player, you'll attract people who value collaboration, value the team environment. And that might be what you're looking for and that's probably what you need to be shooting for if you're looking for a job. All right, so enough about that. Closing point is that Anytime you're on your keyboard writing stuff about yourself, if you're writing your profile or you're writing that cover letter, just, just think to yourself, if someone I don't know is reading this stuff I'm writing, what kind of impression am I giving them? Third and last point that I just wanna make is to be very honest with your skills. If you're fresh out of college or fresh out of this boot camp, don't pretend that you're a master of like three different languages or five different frameworks, all right? Because everyone knows you're not a master at those things yet. You're just a fresh graduate. The major point I wanna make in this video is that you don't really wanna oversell yourself because one, it's not really a good look and recruiters can see right through it. They can see people that they know are trying to upsell themselves when don't have the skills to back it up. So still, I think honesty is still the best policy and even if you're a beginner, just be honest about your skill set first but include more about how you have a good attitude and how you can bring more things to the table. Uh, one example of this could be like, hey, I went to this boot camp and I've been doing Android for the past four months. I still have a lot to learn, but I'm gonna continue my Android and build that expertise within the next year. And I'm also dabbling in these other frameworks. So it shows that you're a beginner, it shows that you know where you're at, but it also shows that you're trying to progress yourself. All right guys, that's the end of the video. Just three points I had to help you present yourself better if you're doing a lot of cold job job hunting. Um, before I leave, I just wanna say that obviously this video is pretty highly opinionated. I've been looking at a lot of job applications recently, so that's why I'm thinking about this stuff, but these are kind of the things I look for and other people may or may not look for, so just don't take all these words as fact. But um, Hopefully, if you're looking for jobs, these things could be helpful. Just remember to present yourself in the best way possible. And it's really hard when it's all through the internet, right? So for anyone out there that's going through this, best of luck. 
hit me up with any questions. If you have any, please like the video or leave me a comment and I'll see everyone next time. All right, take care.